Okay. Hopefully Task Studio runs all right during this. So this is more or less meant to be a quick showing of how I use Task Studio because like three different people in the Spyro community have asked me about this in like the last week. So I figured I'd just just show how I use it. So getting started, there are a couple of settings you should set up. Uh, first of all, in Task Studio, in config autosave, turn off autosaving. It, it's really bad. Hey, Muzz. Autosaving is really bad. When Task Studio tries to save, uh, it just stops working entirely. Uh, and if you try to do anything during that, then it will stop responding and maybe crash and maybe you lose all your work. So just turn off autosave and get in a habit of saving regularly when you're in a position to. Um, I'm gonna just start the game running while I keep talking for a second here. Uh, when you start up a task, it will run through the PS1 BIOS, as, as you might expect. <laughs> Golf, I love that. That cursed toast looks so good. Um, for you guys, just so you know, I'm basically tutorializing how I use Task Studio, but I, I do want to be interacting with chat through it, so... Don't feel like you can't tack you can't talk just because I'm talking about something specific. Anyway, uh, at about this point, um, oh my God, Muzz, <laughs> that's so good. Wait, do I have that? I do. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I love that. It's very good. <laughs> anyway, um. <laughs> At this point, we want to be finding the first frame that we can skip this. Uh, so I'll start talking about markers here. For starters, if you double click on a frame, it'll add a marker. So that if we go ahead of that and say like, you know, oh no, we want to go back to that. We can click on the marker again and it'll just jump back to there. It is, it is basically a bookmark of a frame so that we can go back to it easily. Free Sharpies? No, not that kind of marker. Anyway, so when I am trying to find first frame of menuing, um, I tend to find, like, any frame. I mean, I guess this is basic, just, like, searching stuff. So, like, yeah, let's choose a better marker, 1803 maybe. If we press X anywhere around here, uh, first of all, we can just click and drag uh, inputs to put them in. Yeah, so we can select it there. So let's just go back a ways. Can we can we do it much earlier than that? Yes. Can we do it even earlier than that? Um No, that's too early. So how about over here? That's still too early. How about down here? That works. Let's just go back up a couple of frames at a time. That appears to be too early. Let me jump back a little bit. There we go. So 18.05 seems to be the first frame that we can input. We can start doing inputs. Uh, these other frames that I've marked, I can just delete them. We don't need them. I can give this one a label. Call this, like, first input or something. Yo, Zach. Um, another useful tool when doing that. I have these set up as hotkeys. Uh, F and D for frame advance and rewind. So as I'm pressing D, you can see it going back up the frame list and then F goes forward. So if I didn't know that that was 18.05 and I was checking along these, uh, I could have put X there and been frame advancing. 
Uh, haha. Guess who doesn't know how to use Task Studio at all? I keep trying to tell people that uh, I'm not good at this, and they don't listen. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why that's suddenly not working sometimes, but is working other times. Regardless, F and D. Useful tools for uh, advancing through frames. Anyway, then as we keep advancing, we look for the first frame that we can uh, skip through these menus. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That totally worked, didn't it? It did. I didn't give it long enough to look at it. There we go. That's the first one. <laughs> sure thing, Eliza. <laughs> um... Other useful hotkeys I have set up, I have tab set to uh, play and pause. That's another good one. Um, okay, uh, about the memory card. It says no memory card for me. It might say that you have a memory card and you don't want one. Memory cards are slow. If you have a memory card in the task setup, uh, close Task Studio, uh, open the Spyro ROM, and in the PSX menu here, the controller memory card settings will be available. You just deselect the memory cards, reboot the core, and then open Task Studio. Uh, and at that point, it'll say you have no memory card. The Penguin emote is very good, Muzz. Um, yeah, anyway. So let's keep going through this. Again, just find first frames that we can skip this stuff. It's too early. That is too early. That is too early. That's good. How about earlier? How about actually earlier? Hold on. Okay, that's too early. That works. Can we put it on two frames later to skip the next one too? No, that's also too early. <laughs> Dang. Uh, I sometimes eat gummy candy, sure. How early can this be put? I, I want to basically test a, um, just a, a route comparison, and I don't normally go through this process for that. This is just if you want to really optimize whatever you're making. The only time I went through something this precise was when I'm... I'm hitting the wrong buttons, hold on. Uh, the only time I went through something this precise was when I made the main vortex task. I'm not doing task supercharged turns, no. Oh, that sounds weird, Eliza. Oh, we can just hold X to skip this. Or is it start you hold? I don't remember. I've never played this game before. Um, I'll take this opportunity to explain the much more common way of doing inputs. <laughs> uh, there's... If you have a controller plugged in, like I do right now, can you tell your friends I'm doing Tassu for church turns? You know what? Sure, you can. 
Uh, I have a controller plugged in right now. I can hit any button on it and it's not going to do anything because recording mode is turned off. This is an important button to keep an eye on. If, uh, if it's on and you're holding a button, like I'm holding X right now, as I frame advance, you'll see it's, you know, doing X inputs. If I turn recording mode off and I frame advance, it doesn't matter what I'm holding. It, it just, you know, it leaves those inputs in place. Uh, more importantly, if recording mode is on and I'm not holding anything, it overwrites existing inputs with nothing. So keep an eye on whether or not recording mode is on. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave that on and hit play and just hold start. There we go. That worked. Okay. At this point, we are at the start of the game as early as we can possibly be. I recommend saving the task right now. Uh, call it, I don't know, um, uh, task start or whatever. And anytime you make a task from here on out, just s open that and save over it with whatever project you're making. Or, I mean, not save over it, but, you know, save a new one, just starting with this as a base. Um, it can be very easy to overwrite something you've already tasked, if you're not careful with that. It's very true. I've done that many times. I assume everybody who uses Task Studio has done that many times before learning to stop doing it. Uh, at this point, I'm not going to worry much about tasking perfectly because I don't really care. This isn't supposed to be about how to optimize a task. I just want to show how I use Task Studio. So I want to go do something in High Caves. So I'm just going to run to High Caves. Do a automated sucking at games. That's right. Yo, j -Row. Uh, you may notice that uh, the game is running awfully slow. That's because Task Studio is a somewhat intense program. It runs better than this when I'm not streaming, but not a lot better. <laughs> but yeah, if it's running dirt slow, that's that's kind of to be expected. Don't be surprised by that. Anyway, just going over to High Caves, though. Good bonk. I'll keep it. It's in the task. That's a task-perfect bonk. That's a task-perfect bonk. Which bonk was task-perfect? The first one. The second one was a mistake. Anyway, at this point I'm going to drop down another marker, call this, I don't know, Enter High Caves. Uh, there are at least three, maybe a fourth thing that I want to check here. I want to check going to the vortex without any magic stairs, going to the vortex with all magic stairs, and taking the left path at the start instead of the right. And I also want to see if there are any fancy optimizations we can do on the left path. So that's my goal right now. And I think that'll cover basically everything that I do in tassing. And uh, here, real quick, I'm going to save as again and save this as, uh, I'll call it High Caves route, I guess, because I have a similarly named thing there. I have a lot of tasks that I've saved that all have different names. I don't do this often enough to have a uh, 
to have a standard. Hey, Lucia. Yeah, this is just Vortex. A bunch of people recently have asked me about using Task Studio, so I wanted to just have a, uh, a video showing how I use it, since nothing I do is terribly complicated, and it shows basically all the main features I use. Anyway, so I'm just gonna start, I guess, by RTA playing how I would do this. And if I make any important mistakes, I can back up and fix them. And again, I'm not doing any magic stairs right here, even though a bunch of them are easy, like that one is really easy. I could have done that one. And then we're gonna want some nice, clear end state to compare timings. And I like to do when the returning home text first appears. <laughs> Suboptimal trash, that's fair. So here we go, that is... Uh, text appears, I'll call it. Now, the next question is, how do we compare that to something else? What we do is we use branches. So I'm going to add a branch, I'm going to call this branch uh, right path, no magic stairs. We are now going to add another branch that I will call right path with magic stairs. We load this branch and then jump back to entering high caves. And at this point, any work that we do, we can update this branch to save it in this branch, and then we can go between these two branches and compare them without overriding inputs in each other. Uh, so real quick, I guess I'll start trying to do this. Uh, some of these magic stairs are kinda tough, so they may take me a few tries. I'm also not sure they're all actually worth it. Um, here, let's set a marker here so I can jump back there pretty easy. There's one. There's two. There's three. Four. Five. Ah, dang. Let's just go back a ways and again place another marker down. Yo, thirsty. That wasn't a great ending, but, uh, <laughs> I did it bad. I did it really bad. This is worse. I can clean this up in a minute. Um, oh no, this is a little better. I'm sorry. We saved four frames. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now is say update branch. That updates this one, and we can see 8825 is when the text appears. I can run through this again and clean it up. Yo, Waffle. I'm just comparing some High Caves routes. Wanted to do it on stream and show how I use Task Studio some. Um, yeah, I can, I can run through this and clean it up some, but I want to lay down a base for the other route too. So, real quick, I updated the branch, so now these are two separate branches. They have different inputs, they have different markers that they're keeping track of. Uh, it is important that you do click Update Branch to update your work, and you do need to select it in the right branch. Like, right now, uh, with 
you know, this right path with magic stairs branch, I could click on the other branch and say update branch and it'll overwrite the other branch and we don't want that. So be careful with updating the branch. Make sure you have the right thing selected. But it is imperative that you use this button. <laughs> that is that is necessary. Anyway, laying down the other route, left path. I'm just going to call it bad cuz hopefully there will be a left path good in a minute here. Right there we're going to go back to the enter high caves. I can just get rid of these two markers in this uh, this branch. Uh, and yeah, I guess I'll just hold left at the start and try to do RTA how I would take th that was awful. Try to do how I would take this path. And again, I'm not super focused right now on optimizing this. I am not a great tasser. I'm not going to pretend to be a great tasser. Can I jump up here from here? I think I can and get up there just a little earlier. Anyway, I'm not going to pretend to be a great tasser. Um, is there a long series of square inputs? Yeah, somewhere around here, sure. Oh, that's right, you did get Beepo Boop out, didn't you? Anyway. There we go, that kind of works. Uh, here's the thing. <laughs> good... Good charge glide. That... Very good right there. <laughs> hey, can I just, like, do that and call it good? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave recording mode off uh, for a second here. And then right here, I'm just gonna try to do that again. Leave another one. Again, press Q to return recording mode back on. You can tell it's on by the little checkbox there. And we try to do this better. <laughs> almost, almost. That charge glide is viable in a real run, you'd say. I think you might be right. I think it's very possible. I'm gonna lay the branch down right here. Or not the branch, the marker down right there. That is not what I wanted to do. There we go. Except I wanted to jump there better. So, turning recording mode off, do the jump. Um, I have BizHawk 2.2.2, I think, which is an old version of BizHawk. I don't know why you wouldn't have these. They're kind of fundamental to what I'm doing. You have 1.9.2? How did you get that? Yeah, I would, I would, uh, I would update that. Anyway, I'm gonna lay down another marker here, so I can try to do this jump better. Turn recording mode back on. Almost, almost made that jump. I'm sure I can make this jump. Here, let me... And, again, I'm sure all of this could be done more optimally. Just want to lay down a, uh, a baseline. That, oh my god, almost, almost. Uh, yeah. Lay down one more marker right there. Don't free the dragon. <laughs> It's not necessary right now, as it turns out. Okay. Is it world record route so far? Maybe, maybe. There we go. 8865, update the branch. There we go. So as of right now, taking the left path loses a little more than half a second.
to uh, to the right path. They're very, very close in time. However, of course, I haven't optimized any of this. So it would vary a lot. Yeah, you could power jump into the vortex. Fall back asleep a few times. Oh, oh yeah. I've been there many times lately. <laughs> um, before I try optimizing any of this, I do want another branch that I'm going to call, for now, left path ideas, and just try a few things on the left path. Oh, also I can get rid of that and replace that with text appears. There we go. Okay, so back here, we're gonna take the left path again, but I wanna look around a little bit. Oh, I have been there many times as well, Sproderdorn. Can you wall glide along this, like, at all? A little bit. You actually can get a bit of a wall glide here. Can you get, like, a large wall glide here? Oh, that's... No, that's all way too far to be, be checking. Hold on a second. Let's lay one down here about, and we can just get rid of all of these markers. They're not necessary. Okay. Okay. Tassing wall glides is hard, first of all, because walls are weird and they aren't always as they appear. So frequently you end up kind of needing to do it frame by frame. Here, let's uh, let's not get pushed down by the thing there. Here's my hope. Right up above us is a ledge that we can stand on. And if we could get up there, perhaps we could glide over to the end. So let's go backwards. And let's try to see what we can do with this wall glide. <laughs> There's... Okay, I'm looking at it from here. There's no way we could glide up over to that. But let's try to get up there anyway. About where do we touch the wall? Right around here, it seems, is when we go over and collide with it. Have a good night, J-Bro. Okay, I'm going to do... I think I'm going to start by just trying to do this RTA a few times to get some sense of the wall. Ooh! Hey, that was really close. That's about where we want to be standing. And I can definitely take this way more aggressive at the start than I was. Although it looks like we can't even get a wall glide right away. Okay, so about... where was it? Let's try doing left a few frames earlier. Yeah. Almost, almost. Did a little bit too far to the right there. Uh, yeah, let's just take those right inputs off. Okay, but we need to go left a little more. I'm not doing much beyond saying if I flop, pull away from the wall, and if I don't, keep with the wall. Oh my god, that was so close! Uh, you can optimize wall glides beyond what I'm doing. You can use uh, the camera to work on it some, to give yourself more precise angles. Ah, not quite. Hold on, let me 
back to this. But am I holding X? Be quiet, you. What is this, Spyro 2? Yeah, let's see if we can just hold right a little bit more. Yes, we totally can. Um, I thought we could stand there. <laughs> Maybe we need to be higher up to stand. Why am I flopping quite like that? Let's uh, drop another marker and just see what happens when we mess with stuff RTA when we're this close. No, we can't. We need to be way higher than this if uh, if we're flopping here. Okay, I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to update this branch so we don't lose the work we've done. We can get back over here. I'm going to go back to this branch and jump back. Yeah, I'm flopping so far away. I don't know why. Um, Stop it. <laughs> 990, where was that? This honestly might be okay. I'm just going to make another branch from here as a second ideas branch. So from here, I'm gonna enter record mode and just try to glide there from more height. Really? Uh, where was that? I didn't set a marker, dang it. Should have set a marker on the platform. Here, let's, uh, let's set one here. You have Jazza. Thank you for the raid. Yeah, okay. You can stand here. I'm not crazy. We're fine. Okay. Okay, that's that's a good first step. Here, let me get rid of a couple of these extra markers that I don't need for this other test branch. Okay, can you just not stand on it very high up? Will I fall off here if I walk much further? Yes, that's the issue. How it looks like... Yeah, we can walk really far down it if we go to the right, and if we go to the left, I'm guessing we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna fall really early. So there's like a triangle that we can stand on here. Okay. Okay. I'll update this branch just to save that. Let's go back here. Back to our, our wall glide idea branch. Because that means we only need to get up a little bit higher to be able to land on this triangle here. So I read that as we need to optimize this wall glide a little bit more than I did. Okay, uh, I'm just going to optimize every part. How long can we hold right here before flopping? I do not have recording mode turned on. <laughs> That is too much. So let's do just a few frames less. And it will flop us at some point. See, we got a little ways along it there, so can I just do like a couple of left frames and save it? That seemed to help some. Uh, can I wait a little bit and do a couple more? No, that was waiting too long. Okay, follow-up question, can I save it at all at this point? If I just hold left, yes, I can, okay. So it's just a question of how many left frames we need to hold. And for that matter, no, I'll, 
I'll leave the, the start of this as is. A little more to the left. Yeah, that's really good. I like that. Okay, let's uh, drop a, a mark here. See what happens if we continue with this RTA. So many of these have so many inputs, it's, it's really, if you can do something RTA, especially if you're just testing a route like this and you don't care about optimization, it's better to do it RTA so you don't drive yourself crazy trying to input a million individual things. I'm gonna wait a little bit further before starting those right inputs. Like, let's set the mark to now and then hold right. Oh, that's still super low. Yeah, I need to optimize this more. Okay. Try optimizing a Sproder? I'd rather not. <laughs> that sounds awful. Yo, Composer. I'm just looking at High Cave stuff. Ah, oh, that's way too long. Hardly ever tested stuff being faster or not. Just did things because it felt like it's faster. Yeah, it's... It's hard to know for sure what is faster. Even if you do tacit, even if you do try to optimize it, we all end up limited by our knowledge of the game. And so someone might eventually come along and say, hey, I timed that, and you're wrong, and this other thing is faster. And, like, we didn't know, we did the best we could at the time. That's not working. Can I just hold right less? And then go further right? No, I'm so low here. Did it! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Gonna go back just a little bit. Uh, sure, this is fine. 8091. At this point, update branch also, and for that matter, let's, uh, let's save the project again. We don't want to lose all of this. First try. Watch it back. It was first try. No do it RTA? No. Maybe someday. It'd be cool. It'd be cool to do this. This isn't a terribly hard one. There we go. Okay. At this point. I'm going to turn on recording mode. And we're going to figure out if there's any way that we can go from here over to that ledge. And th it does not look like we can. I'm, I'm just going to call it immediately and say no. We, we cannot... Yeah, I'll do that. Are you sure you want to crash Bizhawk? Yeah, it's, uh... It can be a problem. Again, I, I recommended at the start of this that people turn off autosaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the wall that is high enough to... get you up there, it does not appear to be wall glidable. Some of this is wall glidable, though. How, uh... How far can... How far can we get along here before... Before it's a problem? There are a lot of walls that are not wall glidable, Golf. We don't have a term for them. We should have a term for them. Guys, what do we call them? What do we call walls we can't wall glide on? Y 
Useless walls, shit walls, walls that aren't wall glidable. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's entirely a steepness issue. Like, walls that are completely vertical, generally, yeah, you can't wall glide on them, but I don't know. that. There's also a difference between the visuals and the collision, and it, that's not always clear. Can't damage boost up them either. Yeah, that stinks. Yeah, there. I don't see anything happening with that. Because basically, we would need to get a hook that just, like, carries us upwards along these walls. And even if we got one, that is so high up you would need to get. I have been wrong before, that's true. I've been wrong about Spyro Tassing many times. I don't want to completely rule this out, but I don't think this is going to work. I am going to update this branch and make another branch left path ID is 2 I want to keep this branch but I want to try another idea too don't give up on your dreams true fish ladder still isn't real also true I have done it RTA but it's not real I refuse to accept it Okay, um, <laughs> hey, Schmoll, full golf kid indeed. There was another idea I had while watching Chloe stream the other day that I can't imagine is going to work, but I want to see if I can wall glide on these pillars. No, even if I could get good ones, that I would not have nearly enough height to get over there. I just thought that would be so funny if that turned out to be possible. <laughs> but no, I, I, it's, it's not. And then also, can we jump up here? And I don't think we can. That, that also does not, does not quite seem reasonable. Even with that all the way over. To be fair, I'm not good at tassing jumps, which sounds so silly. Like. It sounds so silly to say that, but jumps are really hard to task. I was not able to task the lofty jumps, which I have since done RTA many times. I don't know. I, I don't know the frame data for how to get a perfect jump. That is not in my tassing repertoire. The best... the things I am best at tassing are wall glides and RTA viable ideas. Anything that's like you need to get a perfect this and a perfect that, I'm, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at optimizing things like that. I forget if I had a point in there. I might have just been rambling a little bit. Can we get just a much stronger wall glide than that? No. Like, if we start from a different place, and now if we angle even remotely hard into it, we just hit the, uh, we just flop. 
Honestly, Thirsty, I don't know enough about power jumps to, to answer. What is a power jump? Honestly, I think there's probably at least like three people in chat that could answer that better than me. If anybody in chat wants to explain what a power jump is, be my guest. The best I can say is it's a jump that, uh, I don't think Schmull is one of the people that can answer it, I'm sad to say golf. Um, it's, it's a jump that uses already existing upwards momentum, I guess, to let you jump higher. F1. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, um... Like, if I'm, if I'm skittering along the ground here, and I do a jump, I meant to pause with tab, not with the start button. <laughs> um... <laughs> The skitter is giving you upwards momentum, and then we do a jump on top of that that just adds to that upwards momentum. That's how I understand it. But yeah, I just, I really haven't looked into them enough to have a, a strong idea of them. What else could we do around here? We need to save less than a second to make right path fast. I mean, I guess my... I guess my right path with magic stairs was really bad and unoptimized, but... And honestly, that's... kind of a way that I task comparisons sometimes is I take the slower thing. Oh yeah, also you can hover over the uh, the numbers here to see the state that it saved the branch in, which can be neat. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll take the slower branch and just try to optimize it in any little ways I see to get that branch as fast as I can. And then once that is faster than another branch, I will go to the other branch and start optimizing that one. And I try to use that to get, uh, to work my way down to see what I think the fastest thing is. That's just kind of my strategy with that. But yeah, there's... Not really anything we can do with these enemies here to make anything fast. There's no damage boosts, there's no proxies here. So... Anything we do needs to be base movement related. And I'm bad at doing that. I feel some degree of confidence that the left path is indeed slower. But, uh, any roll strats? Uh, no. I, I don't believe so. Chloe looked around here a bit when, uh, the day that, that uh, she found those. Because the problem is, let's say I want to start here. Oh, this is still in fast forward mode. Um, the problem is all of these walls are super straight. Nice. 
Uh, and so y you can't roll up them at all. Nope, not far enough. The wall has to be at some amount of slope. You need to be peering and be next to a sloped wall. And that's it. And these walls are just vertical. Oh, I'm sorry, Eliza. Uh, what corner are... Nice. What corner are you talking about, Thirsty? One of my branches. This corner. I didn't think about this. Maybe. Maybe. We get up here. Yeah, let's uh let's play around here a little bit. How far? Hmm. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. There are some weird things about roll strats. Momentum going into it matters, uh... The angle of your roll matters, and I haven't played around with them much to be able to try to learn how to optimize them. But there might be something here. I, I would not rule this out. Here, actually, let's start, like, here, I guess. Just drop a branch down. Because... In, in some sense, you do actually want to be charging just before you do it to, like, add momentum somehow. Again, I don't fully understand why it works. You also might want to be further up here. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> nope. Yeah, we can't really jump charge down because we're going down faster than the wall slopes down. Hmm. I don't know also that we're going to have enough upwards momentum even with this. Just because even when we're high up, this wall is really straight. Or it's really vertical, I should say. So even if we get a bunch of upwards momentum for it, it, uh... I don't know that it'll work anyway. But that's a good idea. That's that's worth looking into more. Um... I still haven't tried to do it. Um... I don't know. Waffle, you did it. What do you think? <laughs> About the, the new Dry Canyon strats. I mean, it's not a wall glide at all anymore, really, but the wall glide replacement. I, I get the impression it's at least worth going for. It only takes you, like, a second or two out of your way to try to get the thief squeeze. Maybe more than a couple seconds, maybe three or four seconds, but not far to just go for it. And it can potentially save, like, ten seconds or something. Yeah, I have no idea what to call it at this point. They shoved the timing, dang. Anyway, I 
I didn't really go into this expecting to have a clear timing laid out, I just wanted to show using Task Studio some. And I feel like I did that. I feel like I've gone over the main things that I use. There's also a bunch of other stuff in the program that I just never use, like... I don't know, what do these do? I've never looked at these buttons, I don't know. There's something about macros that I've never... I've never used, can you just do that and save that as a macro, I guess? That's neat. That's probably useful. It's probably worth looking through a lot of these other tools, but I think understanding recording mode, uh, frame advance, and going back, how to use the... Um, I'm blanking on the term for this. The thing uh, is good. The main, you know, input thing. Um, branches and markers. I think those are all the main things. Am I finishing up? I think I'm finishing up with high caves. I, I have no interest in looking at this more. I, I feel some degree of certainty in, uh, in what I've looked at. The, the main ideas I wanted to look at were wall gliding over here, wall gliding on the pillars, and trying to jump up the pillars. And it's cool that we got this far. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not sure that I am in the mood to do anything else, so I might just be wrapping up. I will throw this VOD on YouTube, though, so I can link it to people who ask me how I use Task Studio in the future. Enters the credits cheat as fast as possible. Nice, nice. Um... You know, actually, I I'm not gonna wrap up quite yet, but I, I am done with Task Studio stuff. Uh, here, let me, let me change scenes real quick. <laughs>